I know, I know, it's been a while since my last video, but there's a lot to catch up on from the last three weeks, and I've had some amazing experiences, but also some tough moments, and a whole lot of self-discovery. So sit back and relax, because I'm about to catch y'all up. It's been such a weird few weeks, and all I'm going to do right now is rant about it. I've been pretty busy doing a lot of activities. Also, um, Koreans had it right when they made this pancake because scallion vermicelli pancakes are amazing for breakfast and I have my freezer stocked with them. And you have to have it with umami sauce because it's so yum. But anyway, I, I've been dealing with just up and down situations in my life the last three weeks lack of work and lack of motivation to film what I've been doing even though I do say that I did film a lot of the stuff that I did the past few weeks so I had filming uh, experiences one of these experiences was a goodbye party for a friend who was moving away and going on a road trip to travel the United States. And it's such a beautiful way to celebrate with friends and meet new people to make new friendships and really celebrate how important people are. I've been eating a lot of good food and enjoying the company of my friends and those people I actually consider them my family. So it's very important for me to have that in my life, in my everyday life really. And while eating good food, I've enjoyed learning lessons and even though I've had some quiet moments where I didn't see anyone for a few days, on the days that I did, it was just so nice to be able to celebrate achievements and goals that people have completed. And I've gone to some really cool places that I've never been to before to eat some really yummy foods. Had some friends visit me from out of town and give me some beautiful surprises. And I get to really cherish how important it is to celebrate everyone else's success, not just your own. So I've been really happy about that. Aside from that, I did have some food that somehow made me sick, which I'm believing to, I'm beginning to think that it might have been some of this raw seafood, but I don't think so. But I got super sick this past week, and it, it was the worst experience of my life. I've never been food poisoned to the point where I think I'm not going to make it. And for the first time, I got to go to the Netflix is a joke festival ran by Netflix. Got to meet some really cool comedians and people that make me laugh were there and I got some cute souvenirs for the road back home I also made this guy laugh with a joke so I can get a free pop tart or an unfrosted tart they had attractions and shows with comedians telling jokes and participating in events and it was just a whole around good vibe good food. This was a charcuterie board. I couldn't believe how amazing this looked. I also had the simple things like pizza. You can never get enough of farmers markets. Good vibes and meeting, even meeting a pig. Oh my gosh, I met a cute little pig. Her name was Pepper. It was the cutest thing in the world. Finally, to celebrate freedom and love and happiness and good vibes and good prayers i got to go see the water lantern festival and here you make a wish or send good prayers or good wishes to other people or pray to people that have passed on and this just brought 
full circle the last few weeks and I've just been so happy to share these moments with my friends and the beauty of just goodness in people's hearts you know this is such a beautiful heart warming experience because you get to see other people's prayers and see all the positive in the world when this world is just not a good place to be so with that i am glad to close out and i hope to see you next week in my next video bye